show is brought to you by Da Vinci Performance Carburetor, Pile Brothers Performance Differential, Joey's Crams Mission, Houston Engine and Balancing, AirmasterDrumPunk.com, and the Time Slip Simulator. Thank you for watching American Bracket Racer. Hey everybody and welcome back for another action-packed episode of American Bracket Racer. This will be a very exciting episode. Um, we're coming from the Southern Foot Brake Challenge, part of the World Foot Brake Challenge series uh, here in Holly Springs, Mississippi. It's a badass track, boy, I tell you, it's a great surface and we got some of the best racers in the country here uh, foot braking it and running for the big $10,000 purse each day. And uh, we're going to bring you today's action from Saturday here, day two. Um, you know, it'd be tough to cover all the days here, uh, being that, you know, the race is going eight and nine rounds and everything. So hopefully we can go a bunch of rounds today and uh, put this thing in the winter circle for y'all. And it would be, it'd be great, you know, so it's going to be tough, man. I got down to uh, the seventh round yesterday, down to five cars out of about 180 entries and um just missed the tree a little bit i was 30 on the tree to the eventual winner adam davis he was 11 and it probably going dead on the dial but uh, we had a great run at it what we're doing now is going into our last time trial before the 10 grander gets kicked off but my, my run before this i was 007 on the tree and uh run a 694 with a nine pretty much right where i was at yesterday but uh, I'm looking to be 20 or better on the tree this hit and see it'll probably come out and probably run a 95 I'm expecting. trial that's pretty much a perfect hit for me uh, going into eliminations here um, I was 002 on the tree and go a 695 with the two uh, so I was 007 002 and I run a 694 9 and a 695 2 so man if it can stay right there we put this thing in the winter circle it's gonna be badass so um, yesterday I was running down there trying to hit the tree as hard as I could and stay in the double O to teen range and the car was on a 95 all day and I was dialed 96 so I was holding holding one number just going down there and giving it two little rips right past the mile an hour cone and it was going dead on so uh, that's the same plan today it worked pretty good yesterday but uh, we'll go from there we got double entries so we'll be running uh, We've got to go up to the staging lanes first and run and come right back around and run second round. But uh, looks good so far and let's get it done.
I'll be in the right lane. I'm going with a 696. I've been running 95, so I'm hoping it'll be holding about one to a half a number. My opponent's in the left lane down 627, so he'll be chasing me pretty good. But uh, shooting to be 20 or better on the tree, and, and like I said, holding about a half to one. But either way, I gotta, gotta go down there and give it a little rip, and try to hit dead on the dial. just got back from first round I lost car slowed down on me quite a bit I, I took a pretty good bump in and uh, it's getting a lot hotter so the car slowed down it had been pretty consistent all day in the heat but uh, I lost the whole number in the 60 foot and I was one and a half slow at 330 off of that last 95 so figure about too slow so it's probably on about a high 97 and I go down there, you know, thinking I was holding a little bit, and I, I give it, give it a little rip. I probably ripped it too much for what I was wanting to kill anyway. But uh, anyway, I'm 22 on the tree and run a 699 with a four on the 696, and my opponent's 27 on the tree. It runs a 29 with a two on the 27. He got there first by uh, 007, but he was probably uh, ripping it a little bit himself. So, but. You know, I can buy back that round. I didn't want to spend $100, but we still got the second tech card coming up. We'll have to try to win that one, but uh, I don't know. I think I just bumped the car in a little bit too much, and it was going to probably uh, slow down a hair bit anyway, so I'll have to figure it out going to round uh, second tech card next.
down second tech car. I'm in the right lane. I'm going up to a 698. I think the car was on about a 697 last round. So it leaves me holding one. I thought I bumped the car in pretty good, which I think I did. So if I bump it in a little less, I might be holding one and a half. got back I got the win well, I was going fast again I didn't bump it in as far but I was 039 on the tree and go uh, 698 with the three on the 698 killing about uh, four and a half mile an hour I didn't take very much of a bump so it went right back to uh, probably running a high five uh, uh, so that's where I need to be I need to need to take a little bit of a bump and hit the tree harder and uh, put it back on that six probably. We will go, uh, we gotta do a, a re-entry round, buyback round to, I gotta win myself back into the second round with my first tech card, and that's what we'll do next. So, let's get it done. Johnson, right side, 579. into the second round so this will be my one re-entry round hopefully I gotta I gotta win this one to get back in the second and get in the main event but uh my opponent's dialed a 759 in the left lane I'm going with a 696 I should still I should be holding about a half a number I think so
I just got back. I got the win. My opponent went red. He was a uh, 11 red and uh, goes two under his dial. 757 zero on a 59. I was double oh one on the tree, and um, I was probably going uh, a high 94, maybe uh, uh, even a 95 zero because I just gave it a little pat down there, just a little whoop up. But we picked up a little bit of a tailwind, so I think that's where it's coming from. But the 60 foot was perfect. Um, the 330 was uh, shown to be a little fast. So I did uh, sit on the line a while. He kind of held me out a little bit on the line when I stalled up. And the car, the RPMs on the car were kind of creeping up. And uh, I think maybe that was a little bit too, but it wasn't going much faster. So all in all is good. I won my way back into the main event. We still double tech going in the second round. Let's get it done. same guy who took me out first round and uh, he's dialed the same thing 627 so I need to be 20 or better on the tree give it a couple little pats down there and run dead on the dial let's get it done I wasn't holding uh, anything. I, I staged it. When I rolled it in, it rolled, it rolled pretty, in, uh, pretty deep, and I was probably only going um, dead on the dial, probably 696 with a six or seven. 
So, uh, my opponent missed it a little bit. He was 48 and goes three over dumping me. So, um, all in all, good round. We get the car cooled off. Shoot for the second tech card win and uh, lights are good. And I'll just have to be sure to not stage it so deep and it'll probably be back where it needs to be. Second round, second jet card. I'm in the right lane. I'm sticking with a 696. I bumped it in probably a little too far last round and it was gonna go dead on the 96. But uh, I'm gonna try to get a little bit less bump in and that should still, should put me on about a 95. So I'll be holding about a half a number. So um, need to be 20 on the tree or better and run dead on. My opponent's dialed 687, so it'll be tight down there. Hopefully, when I'm coming up to the finish line, I got over half a car length on them, and I'll be able to get my rips in and be all right. So, let's do our job and get it done. back I turned it red big time I turned it 10 red there's no way I felt that red but I guess it it happened you know 490 red my bump I guess I bumped it in too far or something but 60 foot's real slow again and it shows me probably running a high high 96 or maybe 97 but when I went in I felt like my bump was good like it didn't go in too far but I don't know and then the car slowing down I don't know. I gotta trust what I felt. My bump felt decent, like it wasn't too far. And uh, I don't know. I know I haven't been anywhere close to being red, really. And I go 10 red, so. Damn it, I threw that away. My opponent was 25 and two under. And uh, I give it two little rips down there and go 97.4 on the 96. So I'm going dead on. But turned it red, damn it! We'll try again, we're going in the third round of one tech card.
Okay, here we go. My lone third round. Uh, it's a big round if I want to keep racing. I got to win this. I got to stay on that tree 20 or better and hit the number. But to say it's the same plan. Take a little bump and uh, nail the tree. And I should be holding about a half a number. I'm dialed to 96, 696. My opponent's dialed 619. So it'll be coming down on me pretty quick. But uh, I turned it red last round. I'm going to just throw that out and not bump it in as far and just try to stay aggressive on the tree and let, let it roll. Let's get it done. with the four on the 96. I went down to five cars yesterday, lost in the seventh round. I should have recorded it yesterday. It would have been a lot better for everybody. But, uh, oh well, you live and die by it sometimes and that's what happens. So uh, they have a gambler's race coming up next. I might enter that and see if I can't try my luck in that. But car's there. My light wasn't horrible. I was 30, he's 35. But just give up the strike by one cow.
This show is brought to you by DaVinci Performance Carburetor, Pile Brother Performance Differential, Joey's Crams Mission, Houston Engine and Balancing, AirmasterDrumPuck.com, and the Time Slip Simulator. Thank you for watching American Bracket Racer.